Hello from Health and Wealth Bulletin. Our whole office is buzzing right now with this new sound clip test that's the new dress controversy. It's a recorded clip of a robotic voice saying word. The problem is some people hear the word Yanny and some people hear Laurel. Now, it doesn't sound like anything to me, but it's causing quite a few arguments, so we wanted to know what's going on. We've seen different linguists and audiologists weighing in on this debate with a few different ideas. The main one seems to deal with the vowel sounds present and how they might trick us into thinking they belong with one word or the other. There's also a question of tone, as some folks hear different words based on the base setting. In fact, some linguists broke it out into a sound graph that looks at the sound waves by frequency. They saw nothing to indicate either an N sound in the middle of the word, like Yanny, or an L sound at the end, like Laurel. That makes this a very ambiguous and low quality recording. One theory, though, is the pitch. Yanny is a higher pitch tone than Laurel. Pitch also changes your vocal cords, so the same word can sound differently when you shift the pitch. That means different types of machines come into play too. Phones, computers, headphones, speakers, they all influence what you hear. Now another part of this could also be age. That's because as we get older, we lose our ability to hear higher frequencies. Now whether or not this is the case here, it brings us to our main point. Just because you heard one word or the other doesn't mean anything is wrong with your hearing, but it does remind us to pay attention to hearing loss. In fact, one in six baby boomers live with some type of hearing loss, and it gets worse with age, with about 25% of folks 65 to 74 experiencing disabling hearing loss. This is important because hearing loss often leads to loneliness and isolation which significantly ups your risk for dementia. Staying active and social is vital to our overall health and well-being. So if you haven't had a hearing checkup in a while, consider getting one today. And you can always learn more about hearing loss, dementia, and other tips for healthy aging in our newsletter, Health and Wealth Bulletin. Just follow the link in the description below to get started. Thanks for watching.